Okay, welcome back guys so in this question we have the cable ab that is 65 feet long and the tension in the cable is 3900 pounds uh in the a part of the question we need to determine the x y z components of the force uh, exerted by the cable on the anchor b and in the b part we need to find the angles with x y z axis uh, which would define the direction of the force so as always we're going to start with the uh, forces that are applying at point b so we obviously we have the tension in here let's call it f and at the end we need to find the components of this force which will be this one uh, fz will have this force parallel to x-axis as fx and lastly we have the fy which would be parallel to y-axis uh, so uh, if we look at the right triangle that i'm highlighting in yellow uh since we have uh two dimensions in this question we know from o to a is 56 feet and we also know that the cable ab is 65 feet and we know this angle that we have in here uh which would be also this angle will be our theta y or the angle that the force f is making with y axis and for finding the f y if we look at the cosine of theta y will have 56 divided by 65 which is adjacent which is adjacent divided by hypotenuse from here we can find theta y as cosine reverse of 56 divided by 65 and we can find our theta y of 30.51 degrees uh, so now that we have this if we want to find the fx if we look at the right triangle also as we can see fx is in the opposite direction of x-axis so we'll have a negative sign and if we find ob times cosine of 20 degrees we can find the fx let's see how if we can find ob and for finding the ob simply we know that f sine of theta y would give us the ob and we'll have time cosine of 20 degrees and from here everything is known then we can find fx which is 3900 from the question and we already found the theta y which was 30.51 degrees and we have cosine of 20 degrees and from here we can find fx which will be minus 1861 pounds so we found the uh, x component of the f for so finding the y we simply since we already have uh, theta y we'll see that fy would simply be f times cosine of theta y and since we already have and it will be positive so there is no negative sign because it's in positive direction of y so we'll have 3900 times cosine of 30.51 which was our theta y and if you do that we'll find 3360 pounds for the y component and for finding the z component uh again this time we have again ob but times sine of 20 degrees and that's coming from the triangle the right triangle that i'm highlighting in green and we already found ob ob was uh f sine of theta y times sine of 20 degrees and uh from here everything is known we have 3900 for f theta y is 30.51 and we have sine of 20 degrees as a last component and if we find this we'll get 677 pounds for the z component so that was the answer for the a part of the question which we found fx fy and fz and in the b part of the question we need to find the angles and for finding the angles with each axis we simply need to uh, look at the cosine of theta x and for this we'll have fx divided by f and same thing for theta y fy divided by f and for theta z we'll have fz divided by f uh, we already found fy from the previous part and 
Uh, we don't need to like look for Fy. We already know that eta y is 30.51 degrees, but we found it based on the dimension. If we use the force, we'll get the same thing. And for Fx, we already found uh, uh, Fx. And for that, we'll have a uh, cosine reverse of fx, which was minus 1861 divided by f, which was 3900. And that would give us 118.5. The negative sign shows that the cosine will be from 90 degrees to 180. Since the cosine amount is negative, our angle will be in the second quarter. And for cosine of theta z, uh, same thing, we'll have cosine reverse of Fz, which, uh, which was 677 divided by 3900. And this would give us 80 degrees. And this would be the last uh, angle that we need to find, which would be the angle with the z-axis. So this would be the final answer for this question. I'll see you guys next time.